But first, arrested again. Police nabbed the man who they say spray painted this threat on a wall for a second time in as many days. Thanks for being with us for the News at 5. A bizarre 24 hours in this saga seems to have come to an end. Uh, but now the case is exposing some tension between Detroit Police Chief James Craig and the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. Let's get to Steve Garagiola. Uh, Steve, the chief says this guy should have never been let go in the first place. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's no question the police and the prosecutors are teammates with regard to law enforcement. They try to always work together towards that end. But like any team, sometimes teammates disagree with each other. And right now, these teammates are not too happy with the other. The threat was clear. Kill police. Kill James Craig. This is not a threat just about James Craig. This is a threat about all police officers. Stuart Lewis was first arrested in this house on Friday night. A Wayne County assistant prosecutor declined filing charges, apparently believing that police may not have had evidence that they said they had. If a prosecutor believes that evidence that the detective says they have and you don't believe that they have the evidence, that's a problem for me. Lewis was released. Today, Chief Craig says that assistant prosecutor messed up. The prosecutor assigned to this matter, in my judgment, this was substandard work on the part of this prosecutor. After a call from Craig to Chief Prosecutor Kim Worthy, that assistant prosecutor has signed off on charges, including the threat of terrorism. This afternoon, I spoke with a close friend of the accused who says she believes there is no way that Stuart Lewis would make threats like that. He's outspoken and he speaks what's on him. He's a man. But the man have compassion in his heart. Everyone that knows him, he's a beautiful being. There's no way he's not that type of person. As is usually the case, two very different sides to the story. Uh, police went out and arrested that man again this afternoon. He was arrested without incident. He is in custody. He faces several charges, the most serious being a threat of terrorism, which is a very serious felony. Uh, Kim and Devin, back to you. Well, Steve, I, I guess over to the third side of this argument, back to the, it, it, was this a case where they just felt that there was more evidence that came out and that's why they decided to move forward? Yeah, uh, no, Chief Craig was adamant about that. He said there was no new evidence between Friday and Sunday no. that he believes his detectives presented sufficient evidence for probable cause the very first time and that this prosecutor didn't accept that and that was a mess up. And that's what's caused the friction here. For now, it has worked out, and he's been arrested again. But there's definitely some cross signals between yeah. the police and the prosecutor. Pretty extraordinary comments from the chief, no doubt about it. All right, Steve.